Welcome to On Microsoft. Conversations with thought leaders in Microsoft technologies. Hello developers, my name is Dinesh Kulkarni and I'm a co-author of a forthcoming book called Essential Link. This is a book that my colleague Charlie Calvert and I are writing for developers. It's a book written by developers for developers. I'm a program manager in the developer division at Microsoft, and so is my colleague Charlie Calvert, who unfortunately couldn't join me today because he's on a traveling tour uh, talking about Link, incidentally, in China. Uh, but I'll tell you all about what our uh, book is intended for. About four years ago, uh, in early 2005, I joined the c -sharp product unit at the developer division, uh, moving from SQL Server division. At that time, language integrated query was being incubated. Since those days, through the first preview of Link, then the beta versions, and finally, uh, the release version of .NET Framework 3.5, Visual Studio 2008, and C-Sharp 3.0. Both Charlie and I worked on this product. Uh, I worked on the incubation phase, and then I saw it through some of the regular release cycles. And so we got a wonderful chance, wonderful opportunity, to really understand how it took shape, what the feedback of developers was, what people really understood well, what took a little while to understand. And what Charlie and I want to do is share some of those experiences and some of those insights that we got essentially by interacting with a bunch of developers all across the world on forums, uh, in conferences, everywhere. And we want to share those insights with you in the form of a consolidated book. Now, as you might know, the essential series that Addison Wesley brings out is really targeted towards developers. It's for those who are going to pick up Visual Studio, fire up, or some favorite editor of theirs, and start coding. At the same time, it's really for developers who want to understand what's behind it. So it's not just about getting a few working samples. Those are, in, those are available everywhere on blogs and in forums. What we really want you to do is start writing code, and as you write the code, be able to look at what was the thinking behind this? Why was it done this way? How do these components fit together? And that's sort of how Link came about. I want to share with you a few of the key pieces of Link and what ma makes Link what it is today. So first and foremost, what is really Link? Link is really two key building blocks or two different pieces. There are language features that you can see in C Sharp 3.0 or Visual Basic .NET 9.0. And then you've got a set of libraries that ship with .NET Framework. And then, of course, you can have additional libraries that you can download from various sites, whether those are uh, Microsoft previews of coming technologies or just hobbyist developers and others in, other enthusiasts writing their own implementations of link providers. That, in a nutshell, is what link is. It is also a set of abstractions. It is certainly the compiler and the IDE that understand the language piece and the library piece but it's also a set of abstractions that is worth talking about. It's the notion of code as data, which shows up as expression tree. It is about the concept of writing query expressions. And these queries are written without any codes around them. So they're a first-class citizen in languages. It's also about some nice mechanisms that come together to give you that experience. It's about writing extension methods. It's about writing Lambda functions. It's about writing lots of cool things that were not accessible to the common developer until Visual Studio 2008 and all its components shipped. And that is what this book is about. It's really about taking apart those pieces, showing you how to put them together, and exposing some of the thinking behind it as to what led to it, why did we build it this way, and how you can accomplish your tasks and your applications in the best possible way using the mechanisms and the implementations that we have. And it's also a little bit of sketching out where this is headed. We realize that you're going to make a bunch of investment in learning Link, in learning C Sharp, in learning VB 9.0, learning about the libraries, .NET Framework 3.5, and so on. And we also want to kind of give you a sense of where this is headed. 
what's the strength, what is it good at, uh, why it's important, what it's going to really bring to you when you start writing your applications. For more information, visit onpodcastweekly.com and subscribe to all our podcasts. Brought to you by the publishing imprints and information portal of Pearson Education.